Lord Bateman was a noble lord, a noble lord of some high degree. He shipped himself on board of a ship, some foreign country he would go see. He sailed east and he sailed west until he came to the high Turkey where he was taken and put in prison until his life it grew quite weary. And in this prison there grew a tree. It grew so tall and it grew so strong where he was chained around the middle until his life it was almost gone. The jailer had one only daughter, the fairest creature my eyes did see. She stole the keys to her father's prison and said, Lord Bateman, she would set free. She took him to a marble hall with spiced cake and the finest wine, and every toast she drank unto him. She said, I wish your heart was mine. Have you got houses, and have you got land? And does Northumberland belong to thee? And what would you give to that fair young lady that out of prison would set you free? Oh, I've got houses, and I've land. And half Northumberland belongs to me, but I would give it all to that fair young lady that out of prison would set me free. She took him to her father's harbour and gave to him a ship of fame, saying, Farewell and adieu to you, Lord Bateman. I fear I'll never see your face again. But seven long years I will make a vow. And seven long years I will keep it strong. If you don't wed with another woman, Well, I'll not wed with another man. For seven long years were past and gone. Seven long years, as I tell to thee. She's packed up all her silk and clothing. And said Lord Bateman she would go see. Well, she sailed high 
and she sailed low till turf and stone she chanced to spy she drew her ship into some harbour and for lord bateman she raised a cry oh isn't this lord bateman's castle and is Lord Bateman here at home? Oh yes, oh yes, cried the proud young porter. He and his wife to be have just gone in. Ask him to bring me a piece of cake. And a glass all of the finest wine, And not to forget the fair young lady, Who did release him when close confined. Well, away and away went the brisk young porter, Away and away, and away went he, Until he came to his master's chamber, And fell upon his bended knee. What news, what news, cried Lord Bateman, who is the visitor who's come to me? She is the fairest of the fair young ladies That ever my two eyes did see. Then Bateman rose, all in a passion, he broke the table in pieces three, Saying, I'll give up all my land and riches, If my Sophia has crossed the sea. Well, Bateman's plan Another wedding, and both their hearts they were full of glee, saying, I will never more range the ocean. Now my Sophia has crossed the sea.